Hello, I'm Joseph. Today, we're going to just dive into Rayleigh PHP, how to get started on Windows, uh, at least the quickest way to get started, and then get you rolling with at least Visual Studio set up with PHP and doing some code edits and stuff like that. So um, the first step would be the most obvious. Go to my GitHub repository, go to the right side here and click on uh, releases, which will usually just be the latest release. And then what we want to download is the Windows PHP with Raylib enabled. This gives you the full PHP runtime with uh, the Raylib DLL and the i9 settings to get all this to work. So you go ahead and click on this. It's going to go ahead and download. And just for reference, if you already have a PHP runtime, you're like, I just want a DLL that I can put in my PHP 9i file. I don't need to download a whole PHP runtime with it. There's the, the PHP Windows DLL work. The only catch here is you do need to match this up with the specific version release of our, or type of a release of PHP. So PHP 8.2 has two things here, has a non-thread safe version and a thread safe version. Make sure you match it up with the thread safe version. It will not work with the non-thread safe version. I can compile that for that. You can compile that with that. If you wanna learn how to compile PHP extensions, um, you will need Visual Studio Code 2019 at, at this time of recording, but there's information what to do exactly. You got to compile Raylib uh, and get the libraries, include them and stuff like that, but you can do it. So that's if you have a very niche version of PHP that you've compiled for whatever reason. I don't think you do. You don't need to do any of that. Just download the, uh, the thing. So I've downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and open the file and just go ahead and extract it, extract it wherever it throws it out anyways i don't really care and as that's doing that we're going to open up visual studio code and here um it's going to load it up automatically for me because i've already done this but just in case you go to file open folder uh go to your downloads folder and then click on uh the you know the php folder and hit select and there you go it's already open so let's go ahead and don't save that um the there's an example folder here it gives you the uh, some you know already some Raylib code that's converted from C code to PHP. I have a, a massive job to convert all these examples for you guys, but I will do that as time moves on. Uh, but this should definitely be more than enough to get started here. So how do you run this code? How do you how do you get this this 3D first person camera thing to work? Well, um, I'm not going to show you how to set up Visual Studio Code. That's not really the, the point of this video here. But we're going to go to File New Terminal. Uh, which throws a terminal down here, and then we're going to type type in dot slash php dot exe. Now, just for note, if you're working with a windowed application and you want to release this game to someone else, you can patch, package this same folder up and just give them that folder. But the catch is you'll you'll want to use php dash win, right? php dash win dot exe. And the reason why is that that will launch your game without a terminal or console attached to it underneath it or as a separate window. Um, in this instance, we're already in a terminal. It does not matter, so I don't care. So we're going to type in php.exe, another dot slash, and then examples. And I'm going to press tab here to complete, core, tab to complete, and then tab to complete to uh, core 3D, and then press enter. So that's going to run. And here we go. We have it running now. Nothing else special needed. Raylib is statically compiled with a DLL um, here and everything set up for you to run with PHP. Now, if you need to edit the INI file that just all runs underneath of, because we're already in this folder, you can see this here. There is the extensions section here. So if you need to enable something else, uh, I've already enabled like a bunch of them. But let's just find it. So my SQLI, my, if I can spell it right, SQLI. And then wherever that's not going to show, there we go. So this is like all the extensions that are distributed with PHP by default. So I've enabled curl, fire info, FFI, get tax, all this other stuff here. And then here is this extension that I've loaded on my end for this. So, you know, if you need to do any other edits, you can just make the changes there. Okay, so then you be like, all right, that's that's everything I need to go, do. I can just get started in program. A um, couple little catches here. One is that you're not going to get any information on any of these functions out of the box, um, and that's simply because because this is a native PHP extension. Um, you can't actually get information from your editor unless you get a stub file. Now I do generate stub files. I release them with packages as a separate thing to download. So what I'm going to do right now is just a quick thing to show you. What we're going to want to do is go to composer, get to composer.org, go to the downloads link down here, uh, and then scroll down to the latest version, 
click it to download it. And rather than open it directly, we're going to open that folder. We're going to copy it and toss it into that root folder that we're in right now. So it's there. And then we're going to go back to our terminal here. And we're just going to do, you know, uh, dot slash php.exe and then um, dot slash composer.far and init. And I'm just going to push enter on all this stuff. The only thing I'm going to skip is the package lookup. So here it says, you know, would you like to define your dependencies? No and no. Uh, and then and to skip because I don't really care to set any of that up. And then all I'm, all I'm going to do here is just press up. And rather than composer init, um, we're going to do require and then Joseph dash Montanez slash um, relib dash php dash stub 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 so that's going to go ahead and get the dependency now if you don't want to type all that and you just want to copy and paste something this is available uh for copy and paste at my uh my thing here right here so and you don't need the dev uh flag anymore because i've made like an official release finally but yeah you can copy it from there and then I, I do have this on GitHub as, to, as well for the separate um, subfile. But anyways, it's down there. It's installed. Now, depending on your machine speed, you may not get autocomplete out of the box. So if I type in image, um, I'm not getting any autocomplete of the, all the image functions that's available with this extension with Raylib. So if I go to uh, vendor, Joseph Montanez, src as a single file this there is no executed code here it's just definitions um, that will help your editor kind of work you don't actually ever include this so when you're typing in like these requires or in use as long as you don't do an implicit like um include and then you'd say like uh you know vendor vendors slash whatever else like you, you definitely don't want to do that unless you're doing the auto loader which is fine but anyways it's already set up so you won't accidentally auto load the stuff in there um and let me see if it has completed yet so there we go now we got it so we got image um color replace you got all these different image options here um gen image load image export image so everything from that file is now properly being loaded which is great the only thing is that um i don't know how to get these other parameters to auto load in visual studio code i don't use visual studio code like i don't even know how to jump to the definition of this with a keyboard shortcut let's see go uh put a definition and it doesn't work so i don't know you might need to do some extra work but at least the definitions are there to help you auto load and auto complete stuff i use php storm to sets up all my release for me and then if you are at the tail end of stuff you're like okay i really like this i really want to get started my recommendation is just go to raylib uh Dot com. They have a ton more examples here. So for example, uh, on the core here, um, there is this 2D example. I actually already have this 2D example kind of you know, done. So I'm going to put this over to the side here and we can put this here. And then you can kind of see, uh, how do I collapse? Nope. Okay, let's just make this smaller. Um, you can see the like max buildings const that I have here to find max buildings. Uh, I, there's no in void for, for PHP to, re to be honest. So then you have these other things here. So you can kind of see how those work. Um, and it, it's a lot of verbatim. The only catch with this, all of this is the coloring here. Uh, this is a, a constant, but it's returning uh, an object every single time. So you kind of want to put these into their own variables. That's the only like major kind of big change. But other than that, you can see like a knit window is you can kind of just copy it verbatim and you just put some dollar signs in between it and it, it'll work. So you can go through all their examples. You can go through their games and see how those games work. You can also go to their cheat sheet. They have a cheat sheet of all the functions as well. And they group and organize them between the different type of modules like textures and texts and stuff like that. And yeah, that's it. You're on your way to potentially making a 2D or 3D game in PHP with Rayleigh PHP.